Getting ready, getting ready. Hey everybody, it's Bunny and it's time for this week's edition of First Impression Fridays. And this week, we're gonna be testing out some more lipsticks. Cause I had so much fun with the last lipstick video I did, which was a first impression of Kat Von D's Studded Kiss Lip collection. I got this in the mail the other day from Tarte and there are so many different beautiful colors in it and uh, mostly except for two products it is all of their lip surgeons pencils lipstick lip pencils in shades that I have not necessarily tried before so I thought it would be kind of fun uh, plus I just I literally had so much fun last time I did the lipstick thing and I asked you guys to tell me down below which color that y'all liked the best. I love hearing from my Swamp family and I love videos like that that are kind of like more participatory so that you guys can kind of like vote and I can see like realistic countable feedback. Just like in that last video that I've already alluded to twice, I'm going to list the names of each of these products and assign each of them a number. So be sure and vote down below and tell me which shade is your favorite. So uh, this is called the Sweet Dreams set from Tarte. They actually came and visited me this week in Houston and I'm doing kind of like a special project with them right now and I cannot wait until I get to share it with you guys because it's so hard for me to not just immediately tell you guys everything that's happening instantaneously. So here we go. This is like their Christmas collection which is based off of Paris and uh, I wish I could go to Paris, but alas. Oh, I feel like a piece of hair is like in my mouth. Ugh, does not taste good, but my hair smells so good. I wish I could invite you guys over to smell my hair. I'm trying to like waft the scent to you, see if you can smell it. I'm using the Scenic Shampoo from Lush and it smells like ugh, so oceany and it leaves like little weird plant fragments in my hair, it's just so great. Anyway, uh, wish I could make it to Paris. Probably won't in my lifetime. So I just love things that kind of have like a Parisian feel. It's like I can put it on my face and just pretend I'm in Paris. Um, so I love the striped packaging and I love the fact that it's lavender and there's like some plant matter, like some kind of, and my hair is also on it. So trendy. Um, uh, plant matter on this one. Looking good. So I'm gonna try out all of the products for you guys, even though there's two lip glosses in here. <sighs> Top 10 fears, lip glosses. All right, let's just go in order because that makes sense. The very first shade that we have is Eternal. And this is one of the matte shades that's in here. You get some matte and you get some that are I don't know what is another choice. And I, of course I threw the packaging to the moon. Matt is my favorite. Uh, one thing that always pleasantly surprises me about the Tarte Lip Surgeons products is sometimes even though the packaging looks like these would be all really light shades, you take the product out and you end up getting a nicer, darker color. I don't know, it's nicer to me because I like darker lipsticks more than lighter lipsticks. Maybe that's not so nice for some people. I gotta track down a mirror. How do I never have a mirror? <sighs> I need to learn how to become a beauty guru. This looks like a nice, like what would we call this? Peachy, perhaps pink kind of shade. Let me apply it to my mouth. How does it look upon my face? I almost want to say that this is kind of like a terracotta pink color. I'm not exactly sure if you can put the phrases terracotta and pink together, but I just did it. What do we think? Maybe like if I had some other makeup on my face, like maybe some foundation so I could hide like the facial demon scarring. I kind of like it. I kind of like the corally thing. I, I don't know. I always wish I could like wear my makeup, like the rest of my makeup when I do these lipstick videos or at least some foundation, but I just feel like it makes no sense because I have to like wipe my lips like 800 times and it would just be like wiping all the makeup off. The next shade I'm kind of already assuming might be my favorite and this is Dreamy, which looks like maybe the reddest shade in this kit. You guys know, or you may know that Tarte's 
Fiery, which is their matte red lip color, is like my all-time favorite red lipstick lip product. It's so delightful. All these smell really, really minty, and I just love it. Like, I love, like, mint smelling things all on my lips, because, like, then when you kiss, like, like, you know, it's like minty all the time. Do you know what I mean? A red lip just makes me feel, like, so empowered. It's like I harness the power of the sun for my own controlling. Ooh, no, liking it already. Ooh, I'll just stop there. Call Vogue. Surprise, surprise, I like it. The only way that this could possibly be improved upon is if it were to be matte instead of kind of a glossy finish. Although maybe that's why I have like eternal desert mouth is because I only like layer like a matte pencil on top of a matte lipstick on top of more matte things. So uh, maybe I should start like testing out more products like this that maybe it's not like a total like lip gloss, but it does have like more moisturizing elements than just like dry chalk. I love the color, of course, even though I don't think it's like a red, I think it's like a magenta, maybe like magenta berry. What do you guys think? The third shade is a lip gloss. You guys may know lip gloss usually offends me, but I will be brave and I will try it out for you guys and for the sake of the video. This is the Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss in the shade Kiss. This looks like it's gonna be a pink shade and I'm not sure if the camera is picking up on it or not, but it looks like there is a faint gold sparkle in here. Maybe I hate lip gloss so much now because like when I was in junior high, I was like obsessed with like frosty lip glosses and it was a really, really weird obsession to have. Those were not the good years for my face. This lip gloss is giving me conflicted feelings about lip gloss. I love the slight golden sparkle upon my lips, and I honestly love the look of it. I think it makes my lips look a little bit plumper and a little bit nicer, a little bit fresher, but still, I feel like I'm kind of like talking funny with the lip gloss on my mouth. Like if I was the Queen of England and all I had to do was like sit all day and maybe do nothing. Maybe that's a bad perception of the Queen of England. Maybe she really does a lot of stuff. But like if I was just somebody who just could like sit all day and maybe not like talk or eat or drink or do anything, maybe I could live with lip gloss. But like I feel like the little hairs like are like, see, oh, one was just stuck. Like my hair flies into my face, gets stuck in the lip gloss. Or like if I ate, I'm scared of like leaving a sticky lip gloss trail or just, I don't know. See, my hair gets stuck in the lip gloss and I just feel messy, but it looks really good. Like maybe if I was taking a picture of myself and I wanted to look really good and like fool the world and be like, I look like a model. Maybe I would put lip gloss on. Lip gloss on. I don't know. It smells really good too. It smells like a vanilla cupcake. All right, option number four. Halfway done already. Can you guys believe it? Already, our time together for the day is almost done. It makes me depressed. I just wish we could sit together all day and just like talk and wouldn't that be cool? Shade number four is Alluring, which I definitely like the name of it. It looks like it's gonna be a glossy pink kind of color from the exterior of the packaging, but the actual product itself looks a little bit darker. So let's see what we're gonna get when I wipe it all over my mouth. Bottom lip has the product on it. Top lip does not have the product on it. It's kind of just like a more enhanced version of my actual mouth color already. Pretty close to the color of my mouth. Just kind of evens out my own natural lip tone and maybe gives me like a hint of a glossy kind of nature. Next shade is Innocent, which for me, and now I know like nude is not the greatest shade to use because obviously everyone's skin tone is not the same color, but for me, I would consider this kind of like personally to my skin. I mean, it's not the same color, but kind of like, I don't know, maybe it would make my lips look, I'm explaining this really badly, but I can see where this would kind of make my lips look almost like a nude kind of shade for my skin. Somebody help me. It's not really a pink, yet it kind of almost looks like it could be pink. I don't know what's happening. It's all the colors and none of the colors all at once. So I think I did a pretty pathetic job of trying to describe this shade. 
but it does kind of make my lips look a little bit lighter so maybe it's kind of like a light pink shade you guys have to tell me down below you have to help me call this one and help me think of a good name for describing this color also be sure and let me know if you like it on my face or not i feel like i've given myself some kind of weird like do you see this like red circle on my mouth like i feel like maybe as i was wiping off the different lipstick shades i was just kind of like <laughs> and now there's lipstick all over my face the next shade is the second lip gloss <laughs> this looks exceptionally gorgeous in the packaging the color name is bell there should be another one that's like the beast <laughs> uh just came back from disney world my mind is a little bit warped i think everything is like a disney reference this shade is magical it's like liquefied berries that they juiced and made into this beautiful color for us to wipe all over our mouths. I just wish that lip gloss wasn't so thick and sticky, but one day when I don't have to eat or drink or talk, I will put this on and I will lay very, very still and I will think what beautiful luscious berry lips that I have and it'll be a magical day. The next shade, shade number seven, is called Dainty. And this looks like maybe one of the lightest shades. So I'm kind of excited and kind of curious to actually put it on and see if this is kind of more of a kind of translucent topper or if it will actually give me some kind of opaque color on my mouth. I'm pretty surprised and impressed at how opaque this shade is. I can definitely see if you were to layer it over some kind of lip liner product or some kind of lip primer, you could definitely get like a pretty opaque pink look out of this. Even right now when I have like nothing else on my mouth, it's a lot more opaque than I thought it would be. I was kind of thinking that this was going to be a really, really sheer shade. I like it. And I think if I had foundation on, it would look even better. And especially like if I kept my mouth closed, because we all know that my teeth are not like like the whitest color in the world. I'm okay with that. The last shade that we have is Fancy. And once again, this is one of the matte lip shades. So this is undoubtedly going to be one of my favorite ones, I'm sure. And it also looks like a, another really nice dark berry color, which especially in the fall are some of my favorite shades to wear when I'm not wearing red every day. So I'm ready to try it out. So whichever one before that I said was my favorite, I think I changed my mind. I think that this one is my personal favorite. I definitely like the darker color. Definitely think it's perfect for fall. Love it so much because it's matte. Those are all of the eight shades that you get in here. And I have a little thing. This is $34 and they value it at $100 worth of product. So it's pretty good. I'm very excited for all of the different holiday sets that are being released for all of the brands of the world. But you guys know that Tarte has a super special place in my heart. So be sure and comment down below and let me know which shade or shades, you can pick more than one, was your favorite. I really, really like to know. These videos are a lot of fun for me, so I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a like so I know to kind of like maybe do some more lipsticky ones in the future. It's kind of fun. I, I had fun. I hope you had fun. Did we have fun today? Thank you guys so, so much for being here. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!